Hey guys, today's video is all about striking balance with your nutrition. And I'm talking eating those wholesome foods, those clean foods, and those foods that you just love to eat and look forward to. Now, if we're going to be successful with long-term nutrition and being able to sustain it so we can reach those big long-term goals, we need to strike up a balance. Now, we know a large proportion of our nutrition is going to come from those singular ingredient foods. A lot of people refer to them as clean foods. I don't like that term, but that's what they are referred to a lot of the time. So, wide selection of proteins, carbs, fats, fruit and veg. And as I said, they're those singular ingredient foods, okay? and they'll make up like 80% of your weekly food intake. This is a nice amount across the week. And they're gonna bring you a whole host of different things. They're gonna give you sustained energy across the day and across the week. So you're not fluctuating with high energy levels and then being in this slump, which a lot of sugary foods will give you. It's sustained energy. You're gonna be able to support sleep well with those foods, stress levels. You're gonna concentrate very well because so much nutrients uh, in those foods, they're going to feed your body the nutrients that it needs to function at a high level. Also, with training, they're gonna support you uh, get going into training to prepare you for training and recovery as well. So they play a significant part. But many people think that they have to have the whole nutrition around those foods, okay? And as we said, they're important. They're gonna play a role of 80% of your food take, intake across the week. 20% can be from foods that you just really, really enjoy. You know, there might be a takeaway in there, there might be something really sweet, there might be going out for food that, uh, with friends and family. And, you know, this is gonna give you that sustainability and you know it's going to give you something to work towards enjoy and actually start to look upon food in a much healthier way instead of this all or nothing mentality well i can only eat this food because apparently that food is bad there's no such thing as just over consuming on a certain food and it's really about striking that balance and the clients that we've had with the best success they've been able to find that balance and obviously we supported them through that so start looking at bringing up your whole foods, you know, with 80% of your food intake from those proteins, your chicken, your turkey, your red meats, your fish, okay? Uh, carbohydrates coming from uh, rices, oats, potatoes, fats coming from fish, cooking oils, avocados, nuts and seeds, and then making sure we're bringing as much color as we can in from fruit and veg, all right? then we can start to plan in those foods that we really enjoy, as I said. Something to look forward to, something sweet, something to enjoy with friends and family. Build up that balance and you will have sustained progress over a longer period of time. And that's why it's so important that we have this mixture of whole foods and foods that we just love to, to eat. Now, if you're someone that is struggling with their nutrition or really kind of trying to move away from that uh, diet culture and that all or nothing mentality with food and nutrition and we would love to help we want to build those new habits for you and really support you and guide you towards those long-term changes with your energy your confidence about your body your sleep your relationships and building a strong and confident body